Hello and welcome to printing a pivot table and pivot chart report exercise number nine of the Excel custom classroom training advanced level training manual brought to you by shift key solutions and I am Eric Ripley in this last video tutorial of this series for this training manual we're going to talk about the header and footer of a chart worksheet and the other worksheets themselves and how they are different. So here we are on our fruit chart worksheet and I want to add a header and footer to this. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and come over to my text group and click header and footer. So here we have it, page setup. We're on the header and footer tab and what I want to do is click on custom header. I'm going to click in the right section here and I'm going to remind myself that the header and footer of an Excel worksheet is broken into three sections, left, center, and right. So I'm going to click in the right section here, and I'm going to type comparison of sales for the second week in February. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click OK. And there's my preview of what my header will look like on the right-hand side. Now down here in the footer, I'm going to click custom footer. On the left-hand side, I'm going to click insert file name. This button is located right up here. If I cursor over it, it tells me insert file name. I'll click this and it looks like some code, but it's the field placeholder for that information. On the right hand side, I want to add the, the sheet name itself. So I'm going to cursor over it, it tells me sheet name. I'm going to click this. I'll click OK. Now here's my preview and you can see, well, this is the solution file, but yours will say good foods and over here it says fruit chart which is nice to have. If I click print preview, it's going to take me to my preview and here's what it's going to look like when it prints out. It's going to have very specific information about what is being displayed on the sheet itself. Now I'll go back to my home tab. Now from here, next I want to create a header and footer for two separate worksheets at a time. Now I've been asked in many occasions, how do you apply the same header and the same footer to multiple worksheets because many cases somebody will be on a worksheet and will go to insert header and footer apply all their information but only to have to come back and do it to the same do the same header and footer to another worksheet and then to another worksheet and so on how do you apply the same header and footer to multiple worksheets at one time well here's how you do it i'm going to be on the percent of percent change 2009 I'm going to click on consolidated data and then press control and I'm going to click the other worksheet change 2000 percent change 2009 and with those two selected now I can go to my insert header and footer and whatever changes I make here will apply automatically to each one of these now from here I'm going to come up to my navigation group and click go to footer Drop, drops me down and then over in the left footer, I'm going to click in my header and footer elements group, I'm going to click file name. Now again, it looks like a field placeholder, but once I click out of that, it'll give me my file name. And over on the right hand side, I want to put in sheet name. So and here it is, sheet name. So from here, I'm going to click the cell just above it. I'm going to go directly to my normal view down here in the bottom right corner, click normal takes me out of that page break preview then I'll just press control home takes me to the beginning of my worksheet here now if I go to print preview here's my print preview it gives me gives me the file name and the sheet name at the bottom if I click next file name and sheet name so on and so forth go back to home and that's it if I go back to my print preview I can see that's not going to print very well so I want to center this like I'm going to go to my page setup I'm going to go to my margins tab and then choose horizontally. It's going to center horizontally. Click OK. Now it's centered. And that's it. And click home, back to my worksheet. And it's quite that easy and that simple. Well, folks, thanks for joining me. And if you've watched it, each of our video tutorials of this training manual, you now know what's inside this training manual. And if you didn't know how to perform some of these steps, now you know and i strongly encourage you to share this information like i've always said in each of my tutorials i always say it at the end share this with as many people as you can the more people who know the more productive we'll all be and don't be shy in using the pause the play 
the rewind buttons there in you, the YouTube videos. Folks, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, and please don't forget to comment. Take care.